Thank you to the Patreon supporters for the What Remember podcast of October 2021. Adam S., Sarah P., a.k.a. Situational Daddy on Instagram, Leo, Sandy and Paul J., Nathan E., Jacqueline M., Matthew J., and Big Time Jim. Help support our show by going to patreon.com slash what we remember. Thanks. Why do we have pumpkins here? It's Halloween. Oh, oh Halloween. So we're doing Halloween. I thought we already did Halloween. No, we did. Well, the order oh, we're we'll going to do Halloween. I don't know when these are airing. <laughs> yeah, you don't know anything. You, you, <laughs> no one true. handles the editing schedule but me. Brad does all the work. We're going to do two Thanksgiving movies a well, year. There's only one. Two Thanksgiving <laughs> movies a year you moving can, oh, forward. No, you can do what? This is the one like Kills Giving or something? Isn't there like Kills a... Kills Giving. Oh. There's like a Thanksgiving like sli- like killing movie? Probably. <laughs> Remember, uh, well, there was that uh, short in yeah, That got made Grindhouse. into a real movie. That's what I'm talking about. Thanksgiving? Yeah, that got oh. made into a film, I think. That did? Yeah, yeah. I think it was a Blumhouse it was like I eight, thought it was minutes. the hobo with the shotgun. That one got made into. I that know one that also one did. Yeah. Got made into. Machete mm-hmm. got made into. Thanksgiving got made into. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I gotta look that up. Well, now too. I want to talk about Death Proof or or Plan Nine instead <laughs> oh, of the movie man. we were gonna talk about. Plan of Terror. Plan of Terror. That's the one. <laughs> Can we talk about that movie instead. You want to? I don't know. Oh, we can. I've always I've wanted to see Death Proof again. It's been a long time since I've watched those. Well, which one? We can't talk about both of them, even though they are the same film, sort of. Look, write them down. We're talking we're about here faculty. for a different yeah, film. We're not talking about that <laughs> we're, now. we're here for the faculty. We're, get, we're getting. Oh wow! You already spoiled it. And I didn't even enter. <laughs> you gotta bleep the it. The movie. You gotta bleep it. No. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. No. My name is Bradley Jones. I'm Andrew Moldenhauer, The and spoiler. I'm Hubert. <laughs> you stuck over each other, I did. Guy, and he had a face like he was. I'm like, so surprised. <laughs> I think as long as you say your name, he's going to say his it's, name. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm great. Every time we're at a response. party and Andy introduced himself, <laughs> I'm right behind him. Like I'm, I'm Andy Hubert. Hubert. That's just how it goes. It's like when you're like, hey, how are you doing? You're like, oh, I'm great. Even if you're not. Yeah. <laughs> just a reflex. Or in situations like this, it's like when people are like, no oh boy. Uh, you know, enjoy your thing. And you're like, you too. And you're like, they, they didn't buy it. So they were. Yeah. I oh, I, I made that. It's like one of those. Thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I said you too to the wrong thing. No, enjoy it your make food. Sense. You too. Yeah. You're not eating it. <laughs> Damn it. I'm Damn eating it. it. I look like an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what we remember. About the faculty. <laughs> Were there two or three bad guys in Home Alone? And who was that forgetful fish in Finding Nemo? Join us as we're watching films. See what we remember and what memories we kill. Let's start the show. Here we go. This is what we remember. Oh There's boy! Too much improv in that opening. I feel like I need to give at least one honor for Andy Hubert to say the one person in the film, and then you can have the rest of them. Okay, that's okay. Andy Hubert, who is in this film? My boy Josh Hartnett. Okay, okay, okay. and then now you could say the rest of them. <laughs> is it like Elijah Wood in this? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, Robert Rodriguez directed this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Might have a cameo. I don't know. Probably. Maybe. Mm. Keep it coming. Hmm. Is keep Donald Sutherland in this movie? No. Okay. I'm I'm run out of people. <laughs> Emka Jansen. Oh, Ooh. is she a faculty? Mm-hmm. She's a faculty. Um, oh, I forgot about the John faculty. John Stewart, I think, is in this. John Stewart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he was trying to act a little bit with like Big Daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, he was trying to. Break, he had like one year where he was like, "Let me act quick. a little bit." I'm trying to. <sighs> there are two or three other people. Yeah, there's one uh, one of there's one of the female actors. She's from is, Heroes or something. W- or? Well, there's one that's been in movies we've done before. I feel like like she's like looks... Joanna Brewster, is it? But no, well, no, I think she is in this. Maybe movie. she. Okay, she is. Maybe yeah, it is she her. is. She is. Jordana Brewster. Who's that? From Fast and the Furious. Yeah, 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 yeah. She plays the one girl who isn't Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, movie. okay. <laughs> okay, got it. We did Fast and Furious, Andy. How do you not remember this? Uh, I just don't remember her name. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, that, that's it's a the unique only... name. That's how I remember it. Fast mm-hmm. and Furious is the only movie I can think of mm-hmm. that I knew her from. Yeah, but now the faculty too. There's like a burnout girl who's in a lot of movies and things. She's a good actress. Is um... and then there's this cutesy blonde girl that was in a TV show I used to watch Come when on. I was a kid in Nickelodeon called Fifteen. Whoa. And Ryan Reynolds made his acting debut in this TV show. 
Wow, what a rabbit hole. Yeah. Hmm. I thought... Where, where's uh, Kevin Bacon fit in? Oh, that's true. <laughs> I'd have to think about it. I thought um, that girl from Final Destination is in this. No. Allie Larder? Allie Larder. Maybe. Is it Allie Larder or is it Maybe. Jordana Brewster? I think Jordana Brewster is, I think, pretty sure in this, but it could... Couldn't I she think be, Allie Larder She could this. be the burnout, right? No. No, you don't think so? No. She's like in, this in my girl faculty, Allie Larder's oh, okay. in it. Maybe, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I like I feel, it. I feel like there are more faculty, but I don't know. There's like a coach. Yeah, there's like a, the football coach. Yeah, he could be. Is anybody. there like a swim team in this movie? Because there's like a sequence in a in a. Pool. That, that's how the end of the film goes. That's the ending. Yeah, oh, the okay. very very ending starts to turn into um. Uh, Swim fan. Cocoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> swim fan, cocoon. Swim it's fan like a, It's a cocoon. hybrid between swim right, fan and cocoon. I'd watch that movie. I've never seen swim fan, but I feel like I just know what it, I just know what's going to I don't need to. That's fine. I've seen yeah, parts it's of a it. Sto- it's a stop. And then I saw the, the, the episodes of, of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend that parodies swim fan. So I feel like I've seen I've swim seen fan. swim fan, but I don't really remember other than it's just a girl who's Didn't stalking. you also see Unfriended? Are you watching all these? I didn't. What is unfriended? It's the one where it's like a bunch. It all takes place on like a video chat or something. Oh, I, like, I saw the trailer for that. But okay, no. maybe, yeah. Is that a horror movie? Yeah, where it's like, ooh, someone's behind you in your Zoom call. <laughs> Ella will. <play. laughs> You're like, like ah! police! I can't leave my computer. <laughs> right. Oh, I've, I've been hacked. <laughs> And then they die. Yeah. Hack to death. <laughs> Hack to Ooh. pieces. <laughs> and it comes up on the computer like it's like a 1990s computer movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hack to death. Nice blood graphic going bloop, bloop, bloop. And then the blood comes out of the screen. It's <laughs> real blood. Oh! Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> uh, we're stalling. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't say yeah, it, I was about yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh Hartnett is a drug dealer. Oh. Um, he also goes to the school. What's he dealing? He deals something Black in heroin. pens. He hollows out like a big pen Ooh. and puts, I don't know what it is, maybe crystal meth, maybe uh, crack cocaine. Ooh. But it's some sort of drug because that drug is very important because it's the only it's thing. It's got to be a party drug. That causes, it could be a party drug, that causes a reaction to the, oh, it's, I guess the premise of the film, people are being taken over by monsters. Or aliens, aliens or something. Yes. I think it's aliens. It's ultimately aliens, but Is I don't it? think you know it first. Uh, it could just be like a meteor falls and it's invasion of the body snatchers or like <laughs> slither or whatever. Mm. Yeah. 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 But I think it's an outer space creature based yeah. on the ending. Okay. And it's it's this drug that like they like stab people that are taken over with this pen and then they like burst out and explode and stuff. Wait, what did you just say? I'm telling you how to kill them. Yes. You get you a stab get, them you with, get this, one of these with a drug pack full of drugs. because of the drug. The, there's some sort of you stab them so the drug goes in them. Yeah, and then the aliens like blah. Yeah. It's like how the science okay. monsters can't take water, right? Yeah. Because the it's inv- invasion of the body snatchers it looks these like these aliens just, a just can't yes. do Molly, and you don't it's know who. But they're all jerks, so you, you kind of know. Shoot. Ooh, Selma Hayek's in it. <gasps> she was. She's a I faculty. Didn't remember that? Oh, she's oh, a faculty. I'm super excited now. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. So people start wow. getting taken over in this like small town. And it's basically set in like the school, but yeah. I don't know if you get into the town really at There's all. There's like f- a football team or something. Is there a football player? Oh yeah. There's a football coach There's for like sure because he like I think the first the 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 first like whoa what's happening with the school is like the. One of the teachers is like at the school late or something and gets attacked by like two of the other teachers. Uh, and I think John Stewart might be the first one to go know. evil, but I don't know. Could be, but like, it, so you see these two teachers attack the other one, and they're like completely just emotionless, just like murdering someone. And then it's like cut to like the next day at the school, and like now we get introduced to our hero cast. There is a moment where like the football guy coach is like taken over by the monster, and he's like super aggressive, and his like yeah. veins are popping out of his head. Oof. And they're even like his like players are also like that. And they're like Ooh. scaring the other team. Like Where, they're playing they're like wearing super their pads so you can't winning. kill them because they're oh, yeah, you they're can't like, see them. You yeah. can't see how like possessed they are. They're well, doing like, cool. oh yeah. like a Friday football game or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. And they're just like, cr- and they sl- like they sl- crushing like, the other team. Mm-hmm. And I think they even like spit in the other team's mouth or something like that. But I think there's like a way for them to transform. has got to be yeah. another person into one of them. Might be through saliva. Might be this weird tongue thing, like a like a bug falls out of their mouth or something. 
think yeah that, yeah maybe the Something's saliva thing happen. makes sense i think there is like an evil bug that they find and it's like in the terrarium mm. and then john stewart gets attacked by that evil bug okay see like a science teacher or something like that oh yeah he caught it he's like oh Ooh, look at this thing i'll study it later. i'll study it. i'll show it to my class but suddenly the terrarium like falls off the thing and he's like looking around for it it's like where to it go it's right behind you <laughs> 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 elijah wood's wow. the hero though elijah yeah. wood saves the day mm-hmm. yes, he's he at does. the pool sequence at the end yep and he's like one of the last ones that don't get turned like all of it's like the movie is just like who is evil and who isn't. Yeah, there's a lot of like, are, yeah, are you infected? Are you not? Yeah. He's got to like know. Them. Yeah, when when do people start really knowing that there's a problem that people are being changed into this way? During the one of the classes, I think John Stewart acts a little erratic and mean. Even like Femke Jensen, who was like super reserved and coy, Josh Hartnett's hitting on her the whole movie, and then suddenly like she turns. The the corner and like starts hitting on him and she's wearing like sexy outfits and, and he's stuff. Like, oh, she's like, wait a second. This isn't how we play the game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the sleaze bag. Not you. <laughs> Classic. Mm-hmm. And the faculty, I think probably changed the, first. The faculty yeah, are the I first mean, cause, ones. Cause like yeah. that would make sense. This film is like, it's the students are basically trapped in the school and all the teachers are trying to kill them. It's got to be like a scene where like John Stewart's in the faculty room and he's like, and he Dude, and he looks at the camera people's and goes, coffee it's the or faculty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think there is a moment where they're like they're having a faculty meeting and they like slowly shut the door. Someone's like, "Hey, what's going on in there?" Nothing. Oh. Shut the door. <laughs> faculty it's like, only. It's like the Godfather, like that nigga with the Godfather. Someone's like, trying to peek. Huh? I want to see what's huh? in there. Oh, man. All the students are left out here. Do they end up like killing them? Don't they? Oh, I mean, there's this, there's like a the whole die? montage where they like you can't ge- come back. They right? gear up, and so like because the the scene that always forever was burned into my brain is like one of the one of them rips the machete part off a paper cutter. Oh yeah, like that's Ooh. his weapon. He like rips he a real the, cool the big old too. handle oh, off of the paper cutter, damn. and it's like a machete now, and it's yeah. awesome. And I was like, holy shit. That's the best. Yikes. <laughs> Remembering, too, like, uh, this, these are just random images, like, s- sequences that take place on a bus, maybe? Is somebody trapped on a bus? Or... That's Little Jeepers Creepers, too, but there might I, be some bus. There's yeah. problems with this, this Jeep, a little bit of Jeepers Creepers, and also the crazies, for some reason, Ooh, yeah. in my head, gets ends uh, up blending together with this. Because um, I, I feel more Jeepers that Creepers takes place at a school, too. Crazies, but, yeah. I could see a bus scene where, like, some of I mean, them are just, like, sense, evil or crazy, but... and, like, or like kind of stuck on a bus and yeah. like you just yeah trying to figure out how to get out. One of them, like Elijah Wood, is like the mascot or something, oh, and he yeah. sees something wrong, but like no one believes him, and he's just like too scrawny to defend himself. This guy, I hope there's a scene where he uses the costume to like hide. I remember there is like a a buff short guy who is in a lot of movies, but I don't know who he is. Who plays, is on the football team, hmm. and I think he's just like a jerk who like gets turned pretty quick. But I forget what this guy is. He's in a lot of movies. Okay. But he's like... You know other movies he was in? No, but he kind of looks like uh, the, the kid from King of the Hill, but like grown up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bobby. Wait, is Dang this Bobby? Bobby? Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> and this is like a young actor? Yeah. yeah. Well, not, to, not in today's standard, but in yeah. the movie. Yeah, he's a teenager. Mm-hmm. What's that one guy, too, who... Um, he was like gonna be a pretty famous actor. Ben Foster. He died from oh. like a drug overdose when there, he was like twenty something in like two thousand two or something, two thousand four. There's Jonathan Brandis. He was in Sequest and Sidekicks. He was also like River Phoenix before him. Well, yeah, not River Phoenix. There's this other Jonathan kid. Brandis. He was in uh, Never Ending Story Two. Sidekicks. <laughs> The Sequest well, TV show. I think he. None of those sound familiar to me, so mm-hmm. I don't know if it was him. But um, he was he was someone who like I think he was acting when he was like sixteen, seventeen. Mm-hmm. Not gonna remember. Uh, have it's to Jonathan come back. Brandis. <laughs> Jonathan Brandis. Yeah. And maybe yeah, he was in he was in the Sequest uh, TV show. This yeah. What else it. was he in, Andy? Uh, um. Uh, who? <laughs> Am I allowed to look up this one thing one time? No. We don't look at our phones on the show. It doesn't happen in part one. Okay, phones don't well, exist. But on the break, we'll look it up, I and I'll show look it, it to up you. On my phone. No, you said you couldn't. <laughs> How did that happen? That was just in my hand. And I was don't just worry. like starting to Google. Search. Don't worry. Why? Don't worry. We'll say we'll take we'll answer it in part two, and then we never will. No. Right. 
right. I'll, I'll forget. Right, right, right. It's part of the gag. Yeah, until, yes. I, until I'm editing it, and then I can put a footnote in later. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so let's get going with the end of the film, because we got nothing else. We I don't. Think. Yeah. No, not it's like, really. There's faculty a lot of fighting with the aliens. faculty. A lot of hiding in rooms and like hoping you don't get found, yeah. and then you get found, and there's a fight and a run. I, was, I guess I was <laughs> driving at, is there a way to come back from being possessed by the little insect thing? It, when you get like stabbed with the big a pen, do you, like, does it like fall out of you and you're back to, back normal? to normal, or are you just, mm. or is like everyone just dead who gets infected? I feel like I remember people coming back to normal. Yeah, because I, I mean, I feel like the end of the film. Maybe some that's got to be the bit is we're like, we know how to beat it. It's Independence Day. We know how to kill them now. Mm. Tell everybody, get get drugs, drugs, everybody. Woo! So the drugs are what what actually takes care of it. Yeah. But one of them is the main monster. <gasps> oh. Yeah. What does that mean? They're like the The mother. whole time, one of the hero crew is yeah. secretly the the big the, bad the big alien. Bad of, of Whoa, okay. So the queen yeah. has taken over one person in particular. Yeah. Yep. Josh Hart. Nope. <laughs> the, the blonde girl from the 15 show that I talked about. <laughs> oh, okay. There's Allie, also 24 that does anything for anybody. Oh, uh, well, that, that would do a lot for Andy. Okay, I was going to say, not Elijah Cuthbert? No, no. no. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, is it the computer from 24, the computer girl? No. Okay. No. I don't know who it is then. She was a one, she was like a one-off character. Yeah. There's a scene where Elijah Wood is running through the back of bleachers, <gasps> and the bleachers are, are closing, closing on him. Yes. That's really scary. The bleachers are close. Have like a oh, face yeah. of a basketball like game. Those folding oh. up, yeah, oh. thing. And they're, like, they're being pushed up against yeah. the wall. Ah! And he's like running behind him, trying to outrun it. Oh my god! Don't yes. faculty stop that. <laughs> Don't do that. Because it's like the monsters here, and like in the. This the is like when you're yeah, going down a hallway video. and all the lights are being shut off as you're going down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. Now I see the only one running. Does one of them trip and fall and get smooshed? I think Elijah Wood is like one on one with a bad guy okay. at the end of the movie, but. The burnout girl might be there too, because she—I think she just like does so much drugs that maybe she can't be turned or something like that. Mm. <laughs> that might be like a gimmick there. Be kind of <laughs> the bug like tries to go down there. And it's like, oh, it's too much drugs. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> Toxic. Mm-hmm. It like immediately dies. She's like, oh, whatever. Mm. Reinforcing so good. the message of the film: do drugs, kids. Do drugs. And then we get like the surprise reveal that it was it was me the whole time. You fools! I'm the alien queen trying to take over the world. The betrayal. And you can't stop me, Elijah Wood. You're saying the drug girl? No, the oh. blonde girl who is the alien queen. I see. Okay, yeah. so she finally reveals herself. Mm-hmm. So how does this pool scene work? She jumps in the pool. And she's, oh she's, yeah. She's kind of necky, and then she turns into a giant monster of oh, some kind. Okay. A giant like creature. She needed how the pool. I remember this. A giant CG thing and Elijah Wood oh I think like or maybe her like Elijah Wood and the girl like there's like the chlorine <laughs> or something maybe mm. they maybe even set a trap to like dump the chemical like in the pool mm. but there's some sort of way that they kill it where it's like in the pool but I feel like there's also going to be a sting where it's like you didn't get out of us there's got to be right they got to be Stewart setting up faculty around, like, too yeah like a new queen emerges or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's just like a... Or like right at the screen. end, like, yeah, like zooms in on one person who like does a weird blink or something. You're like, oh, shit. Maybe when she dies, they all turn back. Into the yeah, moment. that could be like a hive mind kind of thing. Yeah. Like a vamp- like a killing the head vampire. Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. that's what I was, I was going to say. You're right. I mean, if I had to guess. <laughs> that's how I would have wrote it. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Robbie Rodriguez maybe wrote it? I don't know. I'd assume he yeah, did. Yeah, um... Does he? Well, yeah, I yeah, guess he does yeah. write his movies. Oh, yeah. yeah, but he doesn't write all of his movies. He does do scripts. Yeah, he, does, he makes sense. He's not like I mean, a Quentin yep. Tarantino person right. or Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah, but he did probably wrote Machete and. Uh, I don't think he wrote this plan. I think plan he was terror. trying to yeah. find a movie that was Accessible. similar to some of the horror. movies. I know you did last that, summer. Yeah, right, it was urban legend. Time, you know, you got to do it. It was Scream with a big monster in it. Yeah, and it was also and Invasion it was of the teen, Body Snatchers remake. There, you know, the whole purpose was get back to making teen slasher horror movies, and those were, you know, making a lot of money. So why not jump into that? Remake the classic. Remake the Invasion of the Body Snatchers movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. with a new premise. I like it. Teenagers. Oh, that's new and novel. <laughs> wow, what's a teenager? <laughs> so fresh. 
I like these ideas. You got a future ahead of you, Brad. I don't know. <laughs> It's all downhill from here. I would like to see this movie today in a version of some kind, but I feel like a serious R-rated like teen horror film. They just don't get a uh, yeah. Don't get I don't know. I mean, out. they the horror kind of rolls in phases of of what's what's hot and what's not. I mean, we got ended up in we're kind of just now coming out of the sort of found footage horror film mm-hmm. era. Um, yeah, I mean, we've had some really good. I like the cast ensemble horror the, film. Well, and like, give me the knives out of horror films, the, the Andy. Meta, the meta horror film is sort of kind of taken over now. You had Cabin in the Woods. Uh, it follows isn't exactly a meta horror film, but it's a very different kind of horror film. And now you also have the psychological ones because, like, you know, Jordan Peele is like reopened this whole section of, of horror for the the genre. It's been really good. I want the ensemble. I want the ensemble. Horror. Yeah, I would love that. It comes in waves. Dimes out three. Make it a straight up horror. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be unexpected. Poor Benoit Blanc is trying just not to get murdered the whole time. Yeah, there's a lot of deaths. Just like, yeah. I am just not good at solving this murder because it keeps happening. <laughs> there's every one of them. He's treating it so... Eventually, if I just wait, the killer will be yeah. the last one alive. He keeps treating each death nonchalantly like, ah, yes, more evidence. Everyone else is like, we are dying. You need to figure it out, man. <laughs> It might figure itself out. Yeah. <laughs> if I just wait long enough, the killer will reveal the itself. The killer might you even see. accidentally kill himself. <laughs> when That'd be a great uh, premise. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Halloween, but Mike Myers is dead in the first act. Oh, yeah. Shit. And they're investigating how he died, and then they reveal that he like killed all these people. Uh, and he's like this. Oh, man. Oh, working backwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a weird postmortem how catch him style. Like. Yeah. That'd be crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Do you guys like uh, the 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 thing, the invasion, the uh, take over a body person film? Is that something that interests yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, I I mean, the crazy. Well, it's mentioned. kind of an offshoot. Sure. Yeah, it's sort of an offshoot it's of, the zombie, of the zombie film because it's uh, your best friend. Parasitical. Be it's a par. It's a parasitical uh, relationship. Something's mm-hmm. taking you over and taking mm-hmm. control of you, and that's like. And you do have that's the, real you life, have honestly. You know, like there when, are real things that when do your that. loved ones are the ones that are turning. You're like, am I killing them? Like, is there a way to save them? And I'm just like, you know, I don't have to kill them, but I, I need to survive. It, it gives you a lot of really good drama. Like, it's, the crazies, you know, it's got Timothy Olyphant, so of course it's going to be great in my book. But that is one of those movies where I remember watching that and just being like, oh, this this film's heavy. And like, there was another film I think with Chris Pine that came out a few years after that. Where, like, the blood would change you into a, a zombie? Do you know what movie I'm talking about? Mm, it was like the I crazies. I feel like that sounds, something yeah. like that. Your girl's in it from Coyote Ugly. <laughs> Piper Parabo? Piper Parabo's in this film with okay. Chris Pine. But I forget what it is. Hmm. The Skeleton Key. Ooh, um, I actually kind of wanted to see The Skeleton Key and never did. <laughs> It's a few of those horror films that are so bad. Oh, I'm like yeah. interested. I'm like, is it really that bad? Mm, probably not. Can, can I see what's that boat it. movie? The death, the death ghost ship. Oh, ghost ship. Ghost yeah, ship. Like, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that movie kills like 200 people within the first five minutes. <laughs> like super ridiculous. And I was like, what? Like, okay. So I'll just tell you. Tell yes, the, please. Summarize ghost ship. For so there's a ship. I think it takes place. The opening is like the 1920s or something like that. And I don't know how, I, I don't remember how this happens exactly, but some type, there's some type of wire that snaps and literally decapitates like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like this giant boat party and this oh, wire no. snaps and just whips across this room and literally, I'm probably misremembering it exactly, but like literally a bunch of people get decapitated in the first five minutes. Wow. <laughs> Talk about a Poseidon adventure. And then it's a ghost ship. From there on from out. From then on, all those people died. I don't know. I literally could not watch the rest of it. I was like, no. Nah, I can't. Bummer. After I saw that, I was like, ah, no, thank you. <laughs> they probably go into like a uh, science fair and do like, you know. <laughs> yeah, getting chemicals classic, from the like, science room to build there's up. There's a like wood shop a, scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. But I, I mean, just back to your question, like, yeah, it's, it's, I think that it, this is based off of real life too, even though they're, they may be using aliens as the example. Just the idea of like a parasite taking you over and changing, like they're oh, if you've listened to like the parasite episode of Radio Lab, it's mm. that is like real life scary. Isn't there a mushroom that like takes over an ant and like makes it like commit suicide? Because then like when it dies, its body can grow more of itself. 
It's yeah, like a, there's like a like, weird bug or insect, like mushroom or something. Yeah, like, like there's, right. there's, <laughs> there's like a parasite mm. that affects mice that encourage them to go that are attracted, encourage them to be attracted to cats, <laughs> just oh, so man. that the, the cat cats. will get the parasite. Wow. Yeah, like the parasite encourages the rat to go after the cat and then die, and then that's crazy. Yeah, like there are parasites that affect insects all the time and literally just like take over their brain and just mm -hmm. like use their body to move around and oh, walk man. it's insane it's creepy <laughs> brain slugs it's yeah it's anamorphs all over again anamorphs <laughs> <laughs> if you like anamorphs comment below this video email what remember podcast at gmail.com <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to turn these comments off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we got right and what we got wrong in part two of The Faculty. He said, I don't want to blow smoke up your butt here, but I think you found a new species. Yeah, right. Hey, it could happen. New species are discovered every day. Don't be so cynical. Could it be Nathostimulata? Nah. But they escaped detection until the mid-20th century. You just know everything. I'm a contradiction. Check the mesodermic follicles on its underbelly. What does that mean? It means we gotta call the university, let them take a look. Maybe even get in on some of that federal grant money. Our secret. All right. Hey, Stokely, maybe it's from your plan. You would blow me blood apart. Whoa, did you see that? Welcome back to the Brad Renfro podcast. We watch the faculty. Okay, and this is where I say yes. <laughs> well, no, this is the first take. Don't let them know. <laughs> this, is like, this is not second take. It's like Fast and the Furious all over again. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> He's yeah, like yeah, caught his yeah, faster yeah. this time. Brad Renfro was who I was thinking about. Yeah, I didn't one. know he was dead. Yeah. I thought he was just not making things. Yeah, I think I said he died in like 2003, but he died in like 2008. Yeah, get your dates straight, Andy. I couldn't even get the year even close, dude. Because I do like The Client, and he was the kid from The Client. Mm. I never saw that. I want to. It's is good. it good? It was good. It's good. Yeah, it's a nice lawyer movie with Tommy Lee Jones and Julianne Moore. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's a good one. I think that's a Grisham adaptation. I may have been so. thinking about The Verdict, actually. Oh, I don't know what that one is, to be honest. That's Demi Moore is maybe in that one? The Verdict? Sure. It's a... Uh, what's it? The Verdict's oh, still out. Uh, I'm, you partial, guys... <laughs> I'm partial to the firm. <laughs> what'd you guys think of the faculty? Well... <laughs> or as I like to call it, the thing with teenagers. Uh, it's The thing yeah. meets Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and that's exactly the whole movie. Mm. It's... Robert Rodriguez's wet dream to remake the thing. I don't know... I... <laughs> Emphasis on the wet because everyone wants to drink water in this movie. I, I, yes, like, in my notes. Oh yeah, why notes you have notes? I do. I, I wrote that we're, we're starting to do notes in this podcast. <laughs> There's some notes in this house. There's some notes in this house. <laughs> well, like I so I I wrote early on. I was like, I think I feel like this movie is just ahead of its time because it, it feels very. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it God. Feels oh very, gosh. <laughs> Well, it feels very Cabin in the Woodsy in the sense that it's you know clearly it's clearly homaging a whole bunch of horror films, and then halfway through I was like, wait, th no, this was exactly because I was like Scream did all that too, but I think I don't want to say better, but I think Scream did it in a different way because Scream references a whole bunch of horror movies and tropes and stuff it, within the film. So does this one. They talk about a bunch of horror movies and sci-fi movies. Yeah, they do. They bring up uh, other films. I think something's taking over our school. The Body Snatchers is a story somebody made up, Dingus. It's located in the fiction section of the line. Yeah, so is Schindler's List. Look, all fiction is based on some truth, right? What does Miss Burke teach us in English 101? Write what you know. How do we know this writer guy... Jack Finney. ...didn't encounter aliens in his high school, which led him to write a book about an alien invasion? Your conspiracy theory is flawed. How so? Well, Jack Finney's The Body Snatchers is a blatant rip-off of The Puppet Masters by Robert Heinlein, so you can completely disregard that entire work. Whatever. The point is, they're here, they've been here, and they're here again. You know, Casey, I think you've interacted with the flagpole on too many times. Look, how do you know there's not a conspiracy? Look, maybe The X-Files is right. Now, where do all these movies come from anyway? How do we know Spielberg, Lucas, Sonnenfeld, Emmerich haven't been visited by aliens? You know, maybe they're aliens themselves. 
maybe they're simply preparing us for what's to come. You know what, Casey? It's fiction, okay? It's science fiction. Exactly. Everybody gets hung up on the science part, which has nothing to do with it. They're getting at us to the fiction. So aliens have just been setting us up over the years, creating this happy little make-believe existence with their, their E.T. and their Men in Black movies just so that nobody would believe it if it really happened? I think so. Yeah. Well, you're not buying this, are you? No, I'm not. But it's kind of cool. Okay, so what's missing? Well, in the body snatchers, they were pods, but where are they? And where are the pods? There are no pods. There's got to be something else. This movie is corny at times when it's trying to be serious. And, and you it, hate corn. Ugh. Oh the worst yeah no, especially like, of the like, popped variety uh, well corn's okay <laughs> Pop, popcorn <laughs> there are scenes where i'm like why is this happening and how do people like how do people have like how did these teenagers have this intelligence to act like scientists but then also i don't think that they know what they're doing at the same time. no they have no idea what they're doing so there are scenes that were happening where i was like i don't believe what's happening here because i kind of don't understand that they understand what they're doing either they accidentally like fall into the knowledge of like how to beat the aliens but there is no like ultimate game plan other than they're just guessing that once they kill the head vampire you know for all intents and purposes that all the vampires go back to normal Mm-hmm. Yep. I I was wait, like, well, let's wait for Andy Hubert to finish up this text message. <sighs> Look, I'm he's very texting Robert. Rod- he's texting Robert Rodriguez. I'm telling right him everything you guys he are saying. I'm like, hear. they're being so to mean hear. to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to hear this. <laughs> the the yeah. I, don't know. I was bugged by like Josh ooh, is Hart- that a, as a, a play on words? <laughs> oh ooh. Andy, I was aliened you, by. You better not say what you're about to say, Andy. <laughs> I was bugged by. Oh, do it. Don't you do it? Don't you? Unless you're gonna do one specific part. It, and the, that was the part in his hair that I did not like. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I was bugged by Josh Hair. <laughs> Josh Hairnet. Josh, Josh Hairnet's hair. <laughs> he had it the, was just like slightly to the side all he the had time. The, what he was had that hairstyle? Always like out. He had the hair gel. It, it was that like makes just it look poofy. Always the, wet and flat in the front, and then flipping out everywhere else. And it was yes. just poofy on the sides oh, and just boy. flat, flat like just like you said, wet. It was exactly <laughs> of the time. I remember Ooh, that's exactly how it happened. Your hair was flat but spiky in the back. It was. Oof. Was it a spiky mullet? What was what well, was that? It, it was weird too because it was. I felt like it was only the first half of the movie's hair looks like that, and then in the second half, I feel like it looked very more like a lot more hard net hair going forward in all the other movies. It was like, give me the Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> yeah, it was. Please. Oh boy. Oh, my, yeah. Like, what was that? But I wasn't really just bugged by that. I was bugged by the fact that he was like, he was like mixing. He was stealing chemicals from his science lab, yep. and then. Mm-hmm. Going home and making drugs with them to resell at school. Yep. And then he had a whole science lab set up in his house. And I was like, Am I to believe that he's like super intelligent and yes. knows what he's doing? Yeah, that's with what the like, teacher says. He has one scene where he like it, like blows the science teacher out of the water with a comment. Oh my god, well, tell it to it, me. Please. I forget it was, what it is. It was the English like was lit, it was it Femke Jansen? Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's like he talking knew- about the existentialism from I this know. author or something and yeah. she's all like just hearing that I was like cringing God, for you <laughs> she had the hots for him for sure what was uh, Crusoe's greatest fear uh yes Zeke Crusoe was afraid that he'd be stuck on that island forever with nothing but calluses <laughs> no that's that's not correct Zeke isolation was his greatest fear yes but his external existence in no way compared to the internal agony of the loneliness he felt. That's very good. Like I said, calluses. She in the parking lot too mentions him like somebody like if you would just just the classic line of like if you mm-hmm. would just apply yourself, mm-hmm. Josh, you'd be a genius. You have a great head on your shoulders, unlike me in an hour from now. And he's all like, here's some kind. <laughs> <laughs> Or some kind of, <laughs> or some. Lances. She was like, "That's so offensive." There was one foreshadow, like John Stewart. It's like, just stab me in the eye already. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. "Okay, only get stabbed in the eye, I guess, in a little bit." <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of funny that John Stewart was like, he had a he even took this role. He had a bit where he was doing acting. 
for Which, a couple and, movies. Uh, okay, okay. And he gave up on it very quickly. He didn't he didn't want to do it. No, no, no. It's like Death to Smoochie oh. and this, and then Big Daddy. And that's those are the only movies I know. We need of John to, Stewart. Yeah. Yeah, well, pretty much I mean, because he I, I think he's been he's talked to on a couple of times about how we've like, literally you know, done every John Stewart movie. He, went, <laughs> he went like he did have a push like where he really wanted to get into film acting. Yeah. And it seemed like like it. It just didn't happen for him, so eventually he was like, you know, I'm good with the Daily Show. And yeah, maybe not that it didn't happen for him, but maybe he just he wanted the Daily Show over that, or that was just a better gig for him. Yeah, it seemed just like a you know a steady gig to take. Yeah, Craig Kilborn. I mean, he's a good writer too, Stewart. so it seems to make a well. Lot and more I think sense he fits him. so well in that show. I mean, he made the show like absolutely. Was, People don't remember Craig Kilborn. I mean, people remember him, but you he remember didn't make but, that show. You, yeah, you remember him, but he's not the Daily Show. He may show, have started right? it, yeah. but. I don't, yeah, even, I, don't what, 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 I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> we need to. I he mean, danced at the end of every episode. That's all I remember. <laughs> oh, so he did, he pulled an Ellen. Yeah, he Ellen it up pretty hard. Okay. All we right. we need to talk about the cast in this movie. We talked a yeah. fair amount in, sure. in part one about the cast, but this cast, I still don't know that girl's name. This whole cast is insane. Like, well, it's huge. It's humongous. Like we, the we coach got, uh, is the T one thousand. T one thousand. That's what I wrote. Yeah, that's my first note. Uh, <laughs> the coach is T one thousand. The hide from that seventy show is in this. Oh yeah, and he's going through Danny Masterson. He's going through some yep, scandals right now. Yeah, the, the uh, who is it? Like the the history teacher guy is uh, from. He's in No Brother, Where Art Thou? He's in Super Troopers. Oh yeah, that guy's in a ton- Seinfeld. Yeah, he's Boston George. Yeah, Boston. yeah. Super Seinfeld. Troopers. Yeah, yep. I do remember him from there. Yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah, like uh, Usher's in this. Did mm-hmm. we say that? Before? Usher's in it. He's not in it very much, but he is no, used like all I over the market. That yeah. Usher was he's in all it. over the market. Well, he shows up like he, he doesn't like make really make an appearance until like fifteen minutes, twenty minutes into the movie. All of a sudden, I was like, wait, what the heck? He maybe has <laughs> yeah. four lines in the whole film. Shows up. Usher. He's also isn't he in uh, She's All That? Usher, Nick Usher? Cannon? No, no. Uh, Usher isn't he in? She's all I believe so. Yeah. Oh, you might be right. Because he did a couple movies. I mean, uh, there was a whole bunch of class over. Because was did it he do uh, Urban Legend? Who? No. Uh, who no, uh, Cleo Duvall is the emo girl. Yeah, I'm never gonna remember that girl's name. Um, she and, plays yeah. Stokely. It's because she's popped up in a couple movies we've done. She, she was in. She Ten was in, in, about you. Like, yeah, she's not Tennessee about you. Uh, she's all that. Or no, we haven't done that one yet. Uh, can't hardly wait. That's the one. She's in that one. Uh, she's also oh. in But I'm a Cheerleader. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I've I watched that one. Um, it, it's funny because in the early 2000s, she was very much... She she was one of like the, the three actresses, I think, in Hollywood she that was gets like the... immediately typecast into the emo girl. And yeah. like it's cast she was cast that way for like six films in a row. We're like gonna get two thousand to two thousand seven. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then she it, was like the the goth girl from Two thousand seven, she suddenly like branches way out and she starts was doing the all Ali sorts Sheedy of stuff. Ali Sheedy. Yeah, yeah, she really yeah. was. <laughs> um I mean much more recently, like I recognized her immediately from Veep when I saw her in this movie because she plays the Secret Service agent in Veep and she's really funny. Um, but yeah, like she's... I didn't recognize her from anything else, so I'm actually like really she... glad to yeah. hear that. Yeah, no, she she's in a ton of stuff. It's crazy. Like yeah. and Shooter McGavin is in this yes, movie. Yes, he is. He's the dad. Of... Yeah. Yeah. That guy doesn't have a name. He is Shooter McGavin. Yep. No, it's, it's something just... McDonald. No, no, it's Shooter McGavin. No, it's, <laughs> it's like Christopher McDonald. I think. <laughs> it's Michael McDonald. <laughs> that's Michael. McDonald. I think. I think that's Christopher McDonald. <laughs> Christopher McDonald Cross. Oh, Robert man. Patrick, the T one thousand. Yep. Ro- yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. He was intense. He's in the opening scene, and he's yes. already intense. He's he's he's, he's so he's, angry. Already. He basically is the T one thousand, but with lines this time. Yeah, he's the first one that gets infected. Well, he, um, on screen. On screen. Yeah. Fair enough. Sure. So yeah, we, we now we can get into some of the mechanics. So we were right. It's uh, like not really slug aliens, but it's little alien parasites, and they're in the water. They look like the things they from Wrath of Khan. Well, it's, it's little bugs. Yes, they do swim. They swim through your skin and too. And like water, like reanimates them too. Like yeah, they're in like a hibernation state, and then yeah, because yeah, that's what we talked about. Like how someone brings it into the science class, which mm-hmm. was right. And John Stewart's the science teacher. And Elijah he, Wood brings it there because he yes. finds he just finds it on the football field. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, what the heck is this? Um, and they're so like, you, oh, you might have found a new species. The murder, the first murder happens right away. Well, sort of. Not exactly. Is this the teacher or the, the principal? Yeah, the principal lady. Yeah, she's familiar too. She's in, uh, she was in Jumanji. She's the aunt. She is. Yes. She's, I know her from Cheers. 
Cheers as well, definitely. Yeah. She was uh wasn't she Fraser's wife? Yeah, I think so. In Cheers? Yeah. Mm. Something like that. Something like that. This is an old school reference. Mm. <laughs> Because she like yeah, like they're they're having a fa- a faculty meeting mm-hmm. where basically all the teachers are like we need money and the principal is just like well you're not getting any get out except the football team right because they make all the money yeah all the all the fans love the football team and brings all the boys to the yard literally and then she leaves and it almost like it sort of <coughs> makes you think that the movie's gonna be. It's like a teacher's getting revenge on the mean school administrator at first because she's like leaving. And the teachers are kind of mad about it, and then like the coach just assaults her and just starts like she gets stabbed in the hand, shit. real nice. Yeah, oh, with all the way through. through the hand. Mm-hmm. That was great. He like um, asked her for a pencil and then me and then stabbed yeah. her. Yeah, and then the kindly old fine arts teacher lady is just like at the door. And she's like, "Please help me, fine arts teacher lady who I yelled at about theater earlier." And, and she's one of them. Then she scissors her to death mm-hmm. with some pair of scissors. Yep. But then she's back later. Yeah, and she's all healed up. Apparently, they have super healing powers. That was sort of confusing. But it seems like they don't have super healing powers. It's it's like hit or miss. John Stewart didn't super heal himself. Right. Huh. A uh, little bit of inconsistency there. Yeah, it was kind of weird because they it is like the thing where like when they cut bits off they're like they, they become a of parts of, the, of, yeah. of itself yeah because like, they cut john stewart's hand like fing- fingies off and they like skitter across the ground and try to like jump into people yep and uh the and femke jensen's head grows like a yeah she gets thrown out thing. of a car and yeah. like her head gets dismembered and her they're doing like a, a goofy headless ghost bit where like her body's like wandering around and her head's trying to like get to her body with tentacles mm-hmm that was a bit wacky to watch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I liked it or... I, I would have liked it if like each of our not. main characters had like an, a faculty antagonist, but they all kind of seem like they hated all of the faculty. Yeah, I, I agree I there. I think that's a good idea. And, and I, yeah. thought, I thought that's what they were sort of setting up because they Well, they did that with Hartnett, Josh Hartnett. And, yeah, and Femke Jensen. They have a and very direct relationship. And they did it with the, the football kid. Football kid and the coach have a very direct relationship. And I so I assumed it was going to be exactly it the way you said it was, where it was a one-to-one. Yeah. It didn't feel that but way, But it's though. not for the rest of the cast. No. The rest of the cast just sort of get pulled into it and like I, I guess you would equate like elijah wood to john stewart but that's that's stretching. yeah and then uh the principal to um stokely but that's also stretching mm-hmm. jordana yeah. brewster's in like well, you're right about her being in the film it's her yep. first acting role aha uh-huh, okay oh really yeah oh okay mm-hmm. and we can talk about the she's... bus scene is in the movie it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, bus yeah. Scene. There was a bus scene, which felt very zombie film. I kind of remembered a bus scene, but yeah, didn't you really remember anything one. about it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't really important. It was just you I was got saying, chased from the vague scenes we got. There was the pool scene. There, I, I don't know if we talked about a locker a shower room scene. No, um, but yeah, pool scene happens. Bus scene happens. The paper cutter scene happens. <laughs> we missed the th- oh, yeah. the thing reference. I don't even know if it's a reference or just like a straight up theft yeah. of them like trying to test each other with drugs. It's definitely you know like again, there's a lot of there's, it's, it's there's sort of tr- tons I mean, of tropes. As it's sure. Robert Rodriguez, and so he sort of walks the Tarantino line of is it just like a straight up rip or is it homage? Mm-hmm. Um, and I think too, this is a you know a much earlier film for him, so I don't know if necessarily he's like quite there yet in terms of really being able to just nail those. So there are a lot of things in this that just feel. I don't want to say lazy. They feel kind of lazy just because, like, they're clearly referencing other horror movies or sci-fi movies. They didn't see that but one. It, it's I guess. just too direct. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I can't really describe it, and I don't know if it's it's a fair critique or not. But there's definitely moments from like, eh, come on. There wasn't also a, a twist in that scene that like made me not think of the thing. It didn't have its like own voice. Like Josh Hartnett mm. is like straight up Kurt Russell, yep, and like everyone else is like has a counterpoint to that scene in the thing, yep, even to the point where like Jordana Brewster re- like reveals herself as being an alien. Yeah, I mean it's also rough too in that like you know uh, the invasions of the body snatcher part like it's clearly pulling a lot from that, but then they have very long discussions about that specific movie in this movie. And I don't know that can work, but I just didn't see. I don't think it clicked as well here. Um, I, I don't know. I like this movie a lot. It just owes so much more to other movies. 
Yeah, I, I want to see this done again. I want Rod, Robert and Rodriguez to yeah. come back, reboot, yeah. reboot his own they movie. Did a good job yeah, do, do it, it again green, now. Do it, like Sin City. And I would screen. love to see. Yeah, I would love to see how he would do this movie today. All of those actors are still relevant. Yeah. 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 They could be the faculty this time Ooh. around. Ooh. Oh, come on. Let's see it. Faculty part two. And, and nobody's the, I mean, asking for that. Can we talk about the alien? Yeah. Um, What's this alien's deal? Yeah, I don't know exactly. She's she's the is a puppet. A, she's the blonde girl. So we get it is the, sometimes okay. puppet. It's will, definitely a pup puppet at times. A puppet times. There's sometimes CG. Yes, sometimes CG. I mean, this is another one where there's clearly moments where they're trying to be the thing. Um, like the the puppet pieces from the 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 mother alien feel are very the thing. Like especially the bleachers at the end, which we'll talk about because we talked about that in part one a little bit. She explains that she like was on another planet, right? And she left. Did I make that up just now? I don't know. Does, does she identify as an alien? Because they're not like underground. I don't remember that. I don't remember what she was saying. No. Actually. Yeah, that's uh, that's my problem. I was like, I just <laughs> she she did a whole monologue, and like, I don't remember any of it. <laughs> kind of pointless. It felt like it was just like. Eh. I think she was saying like okay. she goes from world to world, like turning people into herself or whatever. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You know, in my world, Casey, there were limitless oceans as far as the eye could see. Beautiful home till it started to dry up. So I escaped. Came here. I met you. All of you. All of you were different from the others. Thanks, pal. You were lost and lonely, just like me. And I thought that maybe I could give you a taste of my world. A world without anger, without fear, without attitude. Where the underachiever goes home at night to parents who care. The jock can be smart, the ugly duckling beautiful, and the class wuss doesn't have to live in terror. And the new girl, well, the new girl, she can just fit right in with people who are just like her. But I don't understand, like, interesting how sh- they can fit, like, the mass inside of a person. Hmm? Like, that monster is big. Do you, like, burn, yeah, how do you, but... how do you, like, trans, are you, like, a changeling who goes in and out of yes, that form pretty thing easy? Maybe you, like, suck energy from them and they become so small and, like, compacted that I did... you can, like, keep taking in more people and just using their energy. Mm. That's a piece I really, there were a couple effects <laughs> I really loved. The the one where she's the the alien in the pool and then transitions back into the blonde chick and gets out of the pool with the shadow with or the, whatever. yeah like well like, you want to see that she's butt. under the water and the whole like the it's it looks like a shadow because it's like the whole dark creature and then just sort of like condenses into her as she walks up and I was like it looked mm. really cool from the overhead shot I loved that scene um, female butt in this movie no male butt but we should step through the basic plot points because we got very little in part one of this um, yeah. Which is yeah, like I mean, it starts. The coach is acting insane. Like, the coach from the beginning. attacks the principal. Yep, but then the next day at school, everyone's still there and they're normal again. Normal, quote unquote, because they're acting different. Like the coach is now actually like kind of a nice guy instead of an asshole. Yeah, there's a lot of like, so they picked out specific character characters for us to follow, which I don't quite know why those characters, but they're like Breakfast Clubby. They're like, very Breakfast like Clubby. It is. Yep. Uh, Which the I think was intentional. Very jock intentional. player. He wants West to qu- us. He's in South. He wants to quit. Yeah. He's the, in a lot. Uh, of stuff. He's in a lot of stuff. But that's what I. Yeah, I definitely know him from. Yeah, he wants to quit the football team. He's the star quarterback, and he wants to quit because he's tired of. He wants to go the to jock Stanford image. or whatever. He wants to go to lawyer school. He just was tired. Yeah, like well, he's tired of being considered dumb. Yeah. and um, he t- said he doesn't like that. Like. He Even if he doesn't do well, people just it. pass him mm-hmm. by. Yeah, he has a whole like, story about would, like he got a D on a test and the teacher gave him an A because he's got a good arm. And he said, "I deserve that D." Yeah, he he's said. like, "I earned that D." Or I, I earned, earned that. the D. I earned the D. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't say it like that. It was like what? <laughs> no, I failed. <laughs> I was failing. Um, I passed. So yeah, he doesn't. He wants to shed that. Image. And I guess Robert Patrick is his antagonist. Yeah. Um. But. How does Robert Patrick ultimately meet his end? Does he even do it on screen? No, he doesn't have an end. What? 
Does he burn up or die or something? No. He, he, he doesn't have an end because their he, whole goal is to just kill the queen and that will kill and, everybody. And he right. infects the jock, so his goal oh, is so succeeds. He just disappears the, he after just disappears the movie. He just disappears after like after everyone after else. That, yeah. Once the jock gets They're infected, all they drop the coach because they don't need the integrity mm-hmm. there anymore. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he never <laughs> has that issue. But and Elijah Wood is like the paranoid kid. He's, he's the quiet Michael kid. Hall. He's the nerdy kid. Yeah. He's the photographer for the school newspaper. Who takes yep. mostly photos of Jordana Brewster. Yeah, because they're all over his wall. And she's the editor of the newspaper. House, yeah. She's like the class president kind of person. She would be Molly Ringwald. I'm I'm guessing. And the so the the yeah. goth girl is. <laughs> like somebody calls her a lesbian, maybe it's Jordana Brewster called yeah. her a lesbian, yes. and then it come comes out a little bit later that she actually likes the quarterback guy, mm-hmm. the head quarterback. Yeah, she's not a lesbian, but she doesn't like dispute the image because she yeah. like she finds it useful in terms of getting people to leave her alone. Right, she doesn't care how people look at her, or she doesn't want to care about how people look at her. Yeah. But but then like does the football player in her in her have some kind of romance that happens yeah. like a well, little it, bit in initially there? Jordan sure Brewster the and the jock are dating, mm-hmm. um and then he quits the team and they kind of have a falling out, and Elijah Wood is in love with Jordan Brewster, the uh, Clea is in love with the jock guy, and Josh Hartman's in love with the blonde alien babe. <laughs> and Femke yeah. Jensen, no, but not. I was gonna say he's but in, love in love with him. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, she's in love with him. <laughs> It's, you okay. know, I was going to say, it's hard to tell who Josh Harden's in love with because he's just so smooth all the time to everybody. But also looks like a man-child with oh, that wow. haircut. I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> he's all he's way too old to be in high school. They even say, they even had to write this in the movie, that he, like, failed uh, his yeah, senior year. he's a super year, senior. So he, so he's I'll a super graduate senior. when I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, you're 27. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, yeah, like, he's... He is, you know, the the renegade because he's the one selling the drugs. He drives the GTO. He, you know, yep. he's that dude. And apparently so, his parents are like rich but absent. Always in Europe is what everyone keeps saying. Elijah Wood, oh. I guess, is like our lead hero. That's what I was wondering yes, the whole movie. But, Who's the character really following? Yeah, it's definitely Elijah. He's, it's it's kind of weird because. It kind of piv- like ba- like walks back and forth, and and the end hero fight is even is mostly him and Josh Hartnett fighting, and then only at the last minute does, does Josh get kind of get knocked out of the fight because Georgiana Brewster's already turned, like yeah. she's the one who's uh, yeah the group turned, that turns. Yeah. I think first. Stokely and Elijah are the only two that don't get <laughs> turned. Yes, yes, yep. Um, and there's a double fake. So we guess in the first, obviously, one of this group is going to be infected the whole time, mm-hmm. and almost kind of early after like the the whole issue starts so like elijah would start suspecting early on that something weird's going on he talks to jane and booster about it and they hide in the staff room and see uh soma hayek get assaulted by the Mm -hmm. coach and the principal where they infect the nurse so you could put this alien like either in someone's ear or their mouth or just like anywhere you can just get it in there. Yes. And it seems to sometimes be multiple of these things inside of you. Yeah. It's well, not, it's not it's a one to one. Makes, yeah. Once it's in, it like makes a bunch that so you mm-hmm. can infect more people. Well, wasn't there a scene where like five of them were on Elijah's face and they were like right at the end? In? Like yeah. the queen coughs a bunch of them right into his face. Yep. Oh, yeah, after she's caught in the, uh, in the, bleachers. the bleachers. Yeah, mm-hmm. correct. And so, yeah, they they sort of get this gang together. I'm not entirely sure how they pulled in the jock guy and the emo girl. Like, it's just him and Jordan and Bruce just decide that they need to be in on this. Yeah. Um, and then there's the new girl, the blonde girl, who is from some the, from the South and has just arrived at school. And her and Josh Hartnett are hanging out. And Josh is putting yeah. the moves on her. And then they happen to there's, be next yeah. to the science room when Elijah Wood's explaining the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And there's, so they just... There's really they poor... We do it together. There's poor setup for this. There's, there's really poor setup. We gotta get these characters setup. together somehow. Right. Yeah, but I don't think they... <laughs> I don't think they did a and great like, job. And like, John Stewart like has to reveal himself as an enemy for the plot to move forward. Yeah, like has to happen. I know it doesn't make any sense for him to do that. It's not like... 
he's not at an advantage in that scene. He's definitely like one against six or whatever. Right. And up until this point, the aliens have been pretty smart about how they're taking and, over and people. And they've effectively neutralized the Elijah entire Wood school, and Jordana Brewster yeah. effectively. Yeah, the whole school is basically infected at this point. They have, mm. after they get the nurse, they have the nurse set up school ear exams. So the, the, they start the infecting the whole school. The nurse scene is important too because that's where Jordana Brewster and Elijah Wood actually they see, see it happen. That uh, the nurse is being attacked by the other two. Yeah. yeah. And Elijah calls the police and the school manages to, you know, they slickly manage to play the whole thing off as and then, he's just crazy. Yeah. And Selma Hayek comes out. She no longer has a weird bloody ear. She's yep. She's normal. fine. And so, like, they've, they've completely neutralized any credibility these two had. Mm. So there's no one else that's going to know. And so then later, yeah, they're in the science room and he's, Elijah Wood's telling everybody else that aliens. And yeah, like John Stewart comes in, they like Josh Hartnett doesn't believe yet at this point, so he's like, <laughs> "Teach, can you believe this kid? He thinks you're an alien." And John Stewart's like, "I am," and then attacks them. And I'm like, "Dude, you didn't have to." <laughs> yeah, do you blow that. your cover. Yeah, you could have easily just been like idiots and left. Yeah, <laughs> but the movie has to go forward. Yeah, and I do love the scene like right after that where they're trying to sneak out of the school like nonchalantly. Yes, and like everyone Everyone's around them is just them. like. Looking out of the corner of their eye at them. Yeah, and that's, that's what, yeah, they realize cool. everyone, they're like yeah. the only ones not infected. Correctly, you said in part one, too, that the fight with John Stewart is where they realize that the pens with the drugs mm-hmm. kill them. Because they, he, yeah, John Stewart gets it's stabbed. It's some sort in the of eye. chemical that he. It's a mysterious, like, Josh Hartnett d- doesn't reveal what's in his thing. It's like, ca- yeah. he says, like, it's caffeine, crushed caffeine pills plus some household chemicals. Yeah. Um, and it, but it definitely gets them all, like, high. <laughs> yeah, they're, like, slap happy. So, sure. yeah, they go to Hartnett's lab. It, which is in this God, insane I, guest barn I hated behind this whole his sequence. parents' house, and him infecting the the mouse. Yep, with the yeah, uh, that poor mouse. Yeah, and yeah. then he di- he's dissecting the mouse. So yep. I was like, I don't believe that he's doing any of these things. I don't <laughs> think he would be doing these things. Well, like it's so funny too because yeah, he's got, it was like, so hard to believe. He's got, like, a little tiny wrong. microscope, but he's like, I'm going to look at it under this microscope, and I'm like, hard not. I like, was like, okay, I appreciate that you're trying to look and? smart, but that's not going to tell you anything, bud. You're not right. a scientist, right? Like, exactly. They were trying to play him off like he was smart because he said one little thing about a book that I guess he read in English class, yeah. even though that kind of doesn't seem like that fits his character to have read that book if he's selling all these drugs well, yeah, well, outside it's, of it's school. It's also less effective when he's a super senior because you're like, he's done this all before probably. He's retaking Yeah, he might just be repeating taken, so He's what? already heard everything before. Yeah. But that's where they do the first test. And so it's fairly early on that they're all like, we should test each other. I don't trust you. And the thing scene happens. There wasn't, it didn't seem like it was motivated to distrust each other at that point either. Like none of them had been acting like, very weird they do bring up the fact that like they think something's off with somebody yeah but it's it's not great the way they like you dropped out of football so you must be an alien you're hanging yeah. you're wearing well, glasses okay, so you I did gotta actually, be an alien i did actually like this part because they're talking <laughs> right. to each other that, like i like that when that comes up mm-hmm. when they're talking about like oh well um you can tell who's been infected because they just act very differently and then they all start pointing out that they've all been acting very yeah. differently and i was like sure okay that's pretty good because you're right like they've all done things that people like anyone else could be like well you're just describing yourself <laughs> um <laughs> So yeah, they do the. They, the they test. definitely have this like, who should we shoot first type. Uh, God, this, oh yeah, this Hartnett even just gets has into, a gun. Like, okay. He does have a gun. He just has yeah. a gun on his table. Yeah, this was like so stupid. The head quarterback was like pointing. He he pulled out the gun. He was pointing it at Josh Hartnett. And he told him to take the drugs. And so Josh Hartnett took the drugs. And then he was like, "See, nothing happened." And it was like, "Okay," and then. <laughs> And then he, like, flipped it, and the quarterback gave Josh Hartnett the gun, and then Josh Hartnett was pointing it at him, and I was like, why is this happening? What is happening? He's like, they just isn't traded the, guns isn't for Isn't the drug reason? supposed to kill you? <laughs> yeah. Alien? Isn't well, that going to be good enough? I don't know why one character was pointing the gun, and then the other character decided, okay, I'm going to grab the gun and point it at you now while you take the you drug. You already have the kryptonite for the monster. That's why there you're are doing so many the things test. that didn't make any you don't sense. Need the gun, <laughs> right? Well, <laughs> like I was looking back at my notes, and we were talking about like how do the characters like get to know each other? There's literally like a period of five minutes where three characters bump into each other. Yes. Okay. Oh, and it was such poor setup. It was like so. This the is the quarterback and the goth person jump bumped into each other twice within like five minutes. Well, and then like one of the the co 
cap- assistant captain of the football team who becomes a captain usher. Like, he bumps into characters a couple times. Like, that keeps happening a there bunch in the so early part times. of the film. It was so he bumps annoying. into Elijah there's Wood like a the, lot. There's, like, a couple where the, the the girl is constantly just screaming at the guy. They're fighting, like, insane. I kind of like that. That that was that was characters because well, uh, they had a they told a story. Well, this is what well, that, me. that one worked because there was one scene where she was screaming at him and he was just he doesn't totally care anymore. Blank. And then yeah. the scene after that and they were she they had reconciled. Away. Yes, and the scene later that scene she's been now told the, the story. Of it, like, but it worked. What happens? Yeah. But it's yeah. it, it, the way it came across to me early on is that they were showing that oh like the people that are getting infected are really aggressive because there's also a car accident in front of the high school and the, like one of the ladies gets out of this car and like drags the other lady out of her car and they're like having a screaming match in the street and i was like what is ha- is this like a rage virus like what's happening yeah, and then they're like it's oh no to then uh, instead they have the opposite reaction when they get infected so they're showing that everyone here is angry initially <laughs> i don't know they're trying well, to confuse we need you. to talk about elijah wood getting a, a whole team of people to ram his nuts into a flagpole <laughs> wait 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 he doesn't get. Wait, he doesn't make that happen. Oh no, he does not make that. It. it was not. Yeah, it's he, true. He, he didn't instigate. He didn't, he didn't engineer that. He was like, I bet you guys can't <laughs> rip my nuts and do a flag. Because that was <laughs> bet you can't. Bet you can't. That was hilarious. Like six dudes for like six. <laughs> the six like, bullies just and then but just run him into the flagpole like multiple times. What? Wait, did I miss this scene? It was like it was in the beginning. It's like the Harvey Danger song. The flagpole. It's about Elijah. Oh, it's so good. I'm not. Sick, but I'm not yeah, because well. then it, they, it comes back at the Running end. Running up the flagpole and see that's Elijah was nuts being yeah. run up the flagpole. It comes back at the end Wait, too because when they're all like ah oh, we're back to normal and they're walking away, the the bullies are running across with another kid towards the flagpole. Oh my gosh. I was like, man, they know their move, man. The go to is smash nuts into flagpole. Oh, no, yeah. I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but yeah, they have the early reveal of Jordana Brewster because that oh, in, in the, the lab barn scene. place. Yeah, she's like, ah, surprise. And then her face is crawling all over. And then she tries to be like, I don't know what's happening. Why couldn't it have just been like alcohol? You know, they're like water aliens. I don't know. I like they could just not have alcohol. I like the novelty that taking you know, one, like, of my, one of my one of my notes been as fine. One of my notes here says, "Can you even imagine writing this movie?" <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, you get lost in the script. Oh, I, I, and then no one would make it because it would be crazy. It's so convoluted. For whatever reason. Well, they were. I mean, uh, the trivia mentioned too that like they'd been shopping the script around for a while and no one was interested. And then Scream was huge, and every studio was scrambling. That makes sense. And the Weinstein's were like, "Grab that one." <laughs> we make invasion of the body statues. Threw it into the theater. They're like, "Get Robert in here." Um, Robert Patrick. They were trying to find. It, it did song. feel. It did feel too like they were trying to find characters that resembled Nev Campbell because both Jordana Brewster and the Goth Girl had like that kind Nef of Nev Campbell look. vibe. Yeah, especially when like I mean, I know Nev Campbell doesn't wear glasses, but like she put on those glasses, and I was just like, I'm just getting this like strong, <laughs> like brunette short hair. There was the double fake though because they revealed Jordana, and I was like, oh wow, that was early. They revealed that she's the one in the group. Yeah, she kind of just beats him up, then runs out of the the place. And yeah. Great, great, jumps in a car and they yeah. drive off, get the get away with another alien. The but t- the town at this point seems like it is completely taken over by the aliens. Yes, this whole town is. Yeah. Well, right. So this is how it, we get yeah. to. There's even like cops like blocking the way out of town. Oh, right. So when they're and when they're discrediting <laughs> Elijah Wood because he calls the cops, like the the coach is like, oh, the principal is like, oh, let me talk to you and hear about it, and clearly gets one of the cops infected. So then the cops are like, hur, hur. well, the football game too is like a way of like continuing right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like so yeah. that's, that's how there's... they set up that as the, the final set piece because they're like the football game is where everyone else is going to get infected because everyone's yep. going to be there and another, an entire other town will be here. Well, there's a scene where they tackle a football player and then they're shoving one of these yep. little alien things Every into Every time they're mouth. tackling players, they're like infecting them. It's like, Ugh. And also killing them. Like yeah. the coach is like, take them out. Like they're carting away at least I know. two I players was like, is on the other team. somebody going to stop this game? Like they're, <laughs> people are, kids are getting injured. Kids. <laughs> Constantly. Yeah. I was like, it's football, it is. It's football. <laughs> High school football is very important. Uh, be, be some uh, two end touch here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's <laughs> like football. The, yeah, that's the so that's like where they set up the climax. Is like, oh, we got to get to the school because we need to beat. They just decide that killing the queen will kill all of them. The strength in numbers is just they're, they're just too guessing much. too. Oh, like, I don't understand why they can't get just get into the school. Like that's what the aliens can't get like to happen. Because everyone's locked in the school, and for whatever reason, the thousand aliens that live in the town 
can't like unite to break yeah, into well, the school. Yeah, in, in they that rely sense all too, on, the, on the football player guy who yeah. steals like the like for I guess the last like bit of drugs. Um, I don't know if it is. It, it doesn't end up being the last like pen of drugs. He take, well, but, he like, takes yeah, he, he, but he like fakes it out like that he's normal and then just dumps it on the ground, and then he gives your favorite speech. Yes, where he's like. Come, come, join us. We lo- just be a part yeah. of us. You'll love it. No one makes fun of you. It's an interesting scene because they, they kill the principal because they assume she's the queen. Yes. Well, well, and even the queen herself killed the principal. Well, yes, she uses all of the pens, and she yeah. Oh she yeah, knows that's the they have like a, we, a, a whole thing full of all the rest of the drugs he had at his house, and she throws it. it yeah, she throws it all on the principal and just like melts her. Yep, and they're like, oh, okay, right, let's go test. If it's back to normal. So they send one person out to confront the entire football team. He came back so fast. Well, and like, <laughs> they could see from their vantage point, they could see him the whole time. Mm-hmm. Like, if they didn't watch, I guess, because they get no. surprised by him. Like, and he just walks straight out onto the field, hops the fence, walks right up to the coach and all the other football players. What are you guys like, doing? You guys better. Hey, you guys infected. Yeah. And they're like, from a distance, they are all clearly engaging in alien rain rituals. It's not <laughs> like <laughs> the football team doesn't just stand in the rain with their arms up, man. Like, you. They, they like Shawshank Redemption. They love it. And he just walks straight up t- until he's like three feet away. And then he's like, oh, wait, the coach has rows of sharp teeth and tentacles coming out of his face. Oops. <laughs> like, whoa. Yeah, and he came back and he was just like, hey Comes guys, back. let me back in. Hello, let me in. They're, they're I'm totally yet. normal, not sick. And, and, yeah. That's it, guys. I said that's, that's it. it. I said it. I said it. He's, got, like, I swear. He's like stopping the bugs. from yeah. I'm not sick. sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, like yeah. a zombie trying to convince. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine, guys. It's like <laughs> Vincent D'Onofrio in Men in Black. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, yeah, they smartly slide him the last <laughs> pen and they're like, prove it that you're not infected. And he's like, oh, this is right after two he had his kiss with uh the emo girl so like Stokely. they finally talked to each other and like oh we should be together and then he's like i'll be the hero and go out there and comes back and immediately is now infected so like she's <laughs> crying and he yeah he gives the speech where he's just like guys it's pretty dang great like we're all just chilling together you don't have to worry about anything we're just a communal society and the kids in the school are like capitalism rules get out of here aliens <laughs> And I was it's like, you know, it's a trap. I will say that aliens making some good points over here. You know, it sounds like this guy might be an alien. It sounds like not so bad. This guy might be an alien. He could be an alien. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be like, you know what? Yeah, throw one of those in my ear. All right. All right. Let me just get my hair out a little bit. So I can tell a little bit more. It sounds like pretty this chill. This whole movie is just like they're just know? guessing. Like if we kill the queen, that'll kill all of them. Well, is there a queen? How do you know that? Yeah, you're just guessing. Yep. There's like no they nothing's building right. upon anything else in this I mean, movie. The, the to be point, honest, I with think the you. whole reason is just so they can have conversations about movies where these are the things. that Yeah, happen. and I, I don't think this was a great movie at all. They could have made the the little bug be more like a thing that has a queen. Like if it was like a little bee, or if it was like oh maybe it's just like it's just the workers. Like they always had, they always have a queen. I'm like oh I guess that makes more sense than just yeah. I mean they're just like queen. using like frame some frame of reference to be mm. like maybe this is the thing, but. I don't know if you like have anything to go on here, yeah. you know, and like the one thing they go on happens to work like, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't really have a big reason to buy it all. I don't understand the end game too. So everyone gets taken over by these alien bugs and they just like drink water all day and hang out. Yeah. What, what yeah. They, I'm what telling you, do? it's not so bad. Like, <laughs> I know. They're just killing people and turning them into something else. They were all pretty chill, too. I mean, they did kill people, but they also reanimated them. Like, you know. You know, they brought them back to still enjoy life. The coach was an asshole, and then he wasn't because of the aliens. You know, they're they're helping people work through some issues. (laughs) Some people need to be aliens. Yeah, you know. Andy's an alien. (laughs) What? No, guys. uh, I just... uh, Just because I just showed up yesterday from a mysterious other town... Uh, and now people are turning into aliens. Doesn't right. mean I'm an alien. Let's look at his boobs. Let's see if he's got nipples. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> That's how you tell. It's not. It's not a, there were nipples. It's not a nipples prosthetic on my chest, guys. I promise. A nipple is nipple. You need to subscribe to the Patreon to figure out what we're talking about. <laughs> you might want to sign up, boys. <laughs> boys, <laughs> gals. <laughs> oh. 
So this. Oh yeah. This we is go, sort of, oh we're still talking about we this gotta, movie. We gotta oh, we gotta oh, wrap it. We up. gotta get to the pool. We're at like forty three minutes, Andy. Come on, <laughs> look the pool. There's a lot. She's in the pool. Okay, <laughs> we didn't talk about what he. <laughs> She's a swim fan. We didn't talk about when he like Hardnett's driving his car around and the the teacher's like tra- basically trying to like sex him up yeah, I to mean, convert him yeah, into I an mean, alien. Ugh. She's like in the back seat and he just dis- crashes, he crashes the car. it and she flies out the window. Where does Selma Hayek go? Where, right, I, no, I asked that question. Go? I asked that question while this movie was happening because I need her more all the time. More, more. But Where's Antonio Banderas in this? Wait, film? he That's wasn't in good, this movie. Was he yeah. busy? Come on, he That's was, a shame. <laughs> was he busy? Oh man, <laughs> where's Steve Buscemi? He was making the mask as Where Zorro. Are the Robert Thank Robert you very Rodriguez much. Usuals. I want Quentin it, Tarantino as one of these faculty. I'm pretty sure yeah. Antonio Banderas was making the mask of, of Zorro. Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> he can't just stop it. The mask. Yeah. I want to trace. I want to try to say somebody stopped me in a Spanish accent, but I'm, I'm not. Gonna. Don't even. <laughs> no, that'll get oh, you in man. trouble. <laughs> I did like that. Uh, again, one of the lines I really did like was after Hardnet has his Ooh. car chase and gets back. <laughs> I'm, I got to talk about oh, this because it's okay. a line I one Hardnet movie. I guess I'll give it to you. Yeah, <laughs> but, like the blonde chicks having <clears throat> the showdown with. Her name is Laura Harris, by the way. The emo chick, the Laura Harris. Yeah. Yes, the the girls are having a showdown in the locker room, and Hardnett just shows up in the middle of it, and like Laura Harris starts trying to convince him that she, the that uh, Clea is mm-hmm. is actually the alien. And he's like, "You're naked. I don't believe you." <laughs> and he's also like, "I leave for ten seconds, and everybody's an alien now." <laughs> like he had some good bits right here. Where yeah. I was like, she's "Like, okay." He tries to have his hero moment by going out to his car to look for more drugs. Yes, and he finds a few in his car, but that's when the, the Femke Jansen stuff. Happens. Yeah, and he manages. So to come yeah, back he has with like, like three more yeah. or two more pens, and he makes Elijah take one because he doesn't believe that he's not an alien. Yep. And then I did like the novelty of the test makes you high while you're trying uh, to fight off aliens. Like <laughs> it's just a hassle. <laughs> Yeah, Wood. I did like that too, actually. Yeah, but they didn't really play it. In no, the way they that didn't I, do it enough. That I like, thought yeah. was like fun. This last fight was a perfect opportunity to do it because yeah, right here he makes him take another test while the queen is like throwing lockers, mm-hmm. and oh, yeah. <laughs> like Elijah was like giggling, and I was like, oh, this is be so funny. He's like genuinely gonna have to try and like run away and fight while he's stoned, and then he's just not stoned anymore. Elijah Wood has a pen left. Yes, he and took then, one from Hartnett after he got knocked out. Uh, so Hush, so Hartnett never gets turned, I guess. No, no. Okay, and neither does Stokely because she's in the cage. And if you and like, apparently that alien can't open that cage because of you know reasons. Yeah. No, she in the cage. Yeah, she's like stuck in like the equipment room. Yeah, she's in there because she was infected. Elijah Wood locked her in there. Was she infected? Yeah, I thought she was helping. Because that's him. why at one point, like she grabs she got Elijah Wood like, late. Like, oh, she, yeah, right yeah. near the like, end. Like, like yeah, really you're late. right, you're right, you're right. She got infected because she grabs Elijah Wood and she's you're like, "Hey, wrong. over here, you're yeah, come wrong. get him." Yeah. <laughs> And then he just has one pen. He does the bleacher scene, which I remember. Yes. He, the alien and there was squashed. We were trying to think if someone was chasing him or something mm-hmm. was happening. And the, the queen is chasing him. I thought it was another person. No, nah, it was the queen. Yeah, the queen and does, does he just get like one stab in the eyeball? Yep. He, uh, he, he does a whole uh, John Stewart on the queen. Mm-hmm. Yep. Does he have a one-liner? I forget if he did or not. He says something right before he okay. stabs her. And See it's this. it's clearly not mm-hmm. memorable. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and that yeah, one. Like, <coughs> and then it like. Coughed up one pen was good enough to kill it up kill it i guess i think just a little bit of the drug was probably good enough Mm. so apparently the alien was big it was she was huge how would you describe that thing it's sort of like it's got like a weird uh you ever play uh final fantasy (laughs) 7 like a wormy mouth final fantasy 7 yes (laughs) remember uh genova It's a very obscure reference. Is, well, <laughs> a popular game, but yeah, it, she reminded it just me, came out again. So yeah. she reminded Maybe me of the bug know. from Men in Black at the end mm. of that movie. She is kind of like, like that, but more of an insect. The bug, the bug from Men in Black had like a very unique. But it, look. it was like a dog. Like this one looked swim like a bunch and... of. It looked like a conglomeration. It of seemed a like bunch a fish. Different things. Like a fishy it was fish. fish. Well, of course, it was a fish. Like an insect fish. Yeah, because it was yeah. a fish creature anyway. It, yes, it, it, it bit John Stewart's finger. It, and it was in water. They needed to drink a was lot of water. Was he infected before or after the bite? After. Okay. The bite doesn't give you an, an infection. That just shows like the threat of the creature. Yeah, it was just a question. Where I was like, I'm not sure because it seemed like he might have been before. But I, there's, you know, it's never clear. And it's not clear that the bite infected him. I feel like the bite 
is unnecessary. Like this creature doesn't necessarily need to just eat you. It's not yeah. its main goal. Well, that was, it is yeah, to turn that was a weird. Well, and like when the queen is What's chasing you? Clea yeah. in the water and stuff, like she's try, like it looks like she's trying to eat her. Like she's got rows of teeth, and oh, I'm yeah. like. That's, but that's not what this alien's trying to do, though. It's trying to take everybody over, not eat them. And we got that in the water scene where I think Elijah Wood is in there, and like the monster swims up to it and like almost bites him, but doesn't. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Jaws or my favorite movie, Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> Same kind of thing happens to Thomas Jane in that film. Mm-hmm. Mm, my head is like a shark's fin. Mm-hmm. I guess it is kind of like a shark, like a land shark creature. <laughs> no. so. Oh, Telegram. How? <laughs> I didn't order a telegram. <laughs> mail delivery. Mail delivery. <laughs> I didn't order any mail. Package here. Package. <laughs> oh, I did order a package. O- open ah! up. Open up. <laughs> it's a, uh, that's a fun that's reference. That's really good. <laughs> and then the town is. They remember. They actually go on the news and be like, there was an alien invasion, and these six yes. kids stopped it. And yeah, yeah. now Elijah oh, Wood yeah. is genuinely a hero? Yeah, he's on Time Magazine. <laughs> yeah. He's on literally Time Magazine. Whoa. He saved the world. Man of the year. Yeah. <laughs> well, is he, does, and he ends up with Jordana Brewster at the yes. end, Yeah, they, right? they, everyone smooches the right person. Maybe Josh Hartman doesn't smooch Famka. Maybe she's dead. No, uh, she didn't die, no, but like that's an Some people she, she waves back. it She's not going to do that. Like, John Stewart doesn't come back. He did. He was in the, he was in the end credits. He has an oh. eye patch. He has an eye patch, and oh, his hand funny. is all bandaged. Oh, that's funny. This was where it was okay. Did you guys for, turn it off as soon as it was over? I think I did. You missed out on some good end credits. I might have. This is this is the time where it was okay for your, your female teachers to have sex with students, right? It wasn't like uh... oh boy. Well, he's twenty. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> it feels like it's a little different. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He is a super senior. They <laughs> he's clearly, yeah, he's clearly twenty. <laughs> Still, probably not ethical. <laughs> probably shouldn't be doing that, Famco. Because she definitely waves yeah. at him from like the school bleachers or something in his epilogue. Because he joins the football team. That's his ending. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I like, did not watch this. It was this, weird. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, he joins the football team, and so now he like is participating in school. Mm-hmm. I guess huh. that's his thing. Okay, I don't know. Maybe and he's starting to apply himself because he found a group of people. Uh, Clea no longer has black hair or eyeliner because yeah. that's the resolution for every emo girl it, is to give up her entire identity just and personal look style. Pretty. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> oh, she, I can be blonde <laughs> again. Like, come on, dude. You like okay. be yourself. She does make out with the football job. Yep. She, she oh gets, yeah, they end up yeah. together for sure. He still quits the team. He's not on that team mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah, Jordana Brewster is like, oh, he's a hero now, so I'm going to hang out with Elijah Wood because uh, before I thought he was a dork. But status. Now, now it's. Status. She's like, oh, now that he's popular, <laughs> I'll be popular. Yeah. It's kind of interesting that they took it that way and wasn't like it was all a dream. It was like, no, no, it all happened. Oh no, yeah, they played. Yeah, everyone they played that out. Everyone knew oh, that they were. Oh my god! If it was all a dream, <laughs> that would be like the nail no, that, in and the that's, coffin. That's literally a dream, but they didn't like wipe. <laughs> no one the remembered. Yeah, stuff. like no one yeah. remembered what happened. So. I don't remember. I, everyone had amnesia <clears throat> for thirty minutes. And... <laughs> No one believes us now. We all got too drunk at the football game Friday night. <laughs> that was, I, I feel like that would have been an acceptable ending as well, because then they could have been like, well, we remembered and we did yeah, it together. I, I mean, I think the problem is that that's like the ending I expected. Yeah. I like that I like they that didn't, didn't do that. Do it. It, yeah. they, they did genuinely just go, here's an actual what happened after that, like, you know, when this insane thing happens to a town. Like, yeah, it was a big deal. Because <laughs> that alien is like still stuck in the bleachers. It's just like gray and weird, right? Yeah. It doesn't like turn into so. ash or anything. Yeah. Deep dive into the faculty here. Yeah, man. I'm sure everyone wanted. I I, I thought it was <laughs> all right. Wanted. I thought it was all right. I would love to see this get a reboot. Thank you for joining us on that episode and every episode that you do. The next movie we're doing has the tagline: "The trick was to stay alive." We remember Halloween. Halloween. She is trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. I think he'll come back. Exploring uncharted territory. And totally charted. Just talk. Sure, sure. The only reason she babysits is to have a little. Halloween.